Good Saturday evening, everybody. Hope y'all are having a God blessed day like I have had. I have had the best Saturday evening that I've had in a long, long time. Because guess what? I didn't prepare to do anything today. I didn't have in my mind to do anything today. So I had one of those God blessed Saturday evenings where uh, in spite of anything that went wrong, I still had a good Saturday evening. So here's what I decided I was going to do because I'm going to make some um, fruit and some nut snacks because y'all, as I told y'all, I love to snack. So I'm going to show y'all a couple of the snacks that I use to snack on because when I'm sitting like today, a day like today, I'm snacking on something. So I like to have nice healthy things, especially now. So before we get into the uh, fruit snack preparation, let, just let me say that I've been also in prayer throughout the day about this coronavirus situation and just about things in the world today. You know, on top of everything else that we got going on with the politics, uh, family issues, and just things going on uh, around the world in families and whatnot, um, I... Uh, started out I think it was Friday when I went to I think I shared with you all on one of my videos how I went to the store and the shop and how easily you can get so paranoid with this coronavirus thing. I was washing off the mayonnaise jar, washing off washing off the milk jug and all that kind of stuff. Well I'm constantly washing my hands anyway also because I cook all the time. So I'm used to that part of it. So that's no big deal for me. But how you can get things going in your mind. And I had to stop and just pray and say, Lord, just help me not to get carried away with the things that are going on. Because, you know, life still goes on in spite of even when things die off, something is still living. So I had to just sort of talk to myself a little bit. So just sharing that with you in hopes that you won't get discouraged or that you won't get paranoid or overwrought with this coronavirus. Because... And like many of us know, nobody know where it came from or where it's going to end up going. So what we can do, continue to do, is pray without ceasing about this situation and try to keep our minds and hearts clear. Because certainly that's what I'm trying to do. Because no matter what, God is still in control. And that's what I have to look at. No matter what comes my way, no matter what the enemy throws or what unfortunate things happen, God is still in control. And we can't do anything but try to control our emotions and how we feel about things. Um, so, you know, here and there, little things pop up to kind of shake you a little bit, and we still got to keep it moving and keep it going. Now, uh, my my grandson and my daughter, my grandson, um, Karan, and my daughter, Tansy, went to Las Vegas Thursday, I think it was, Thursday or Friday. And I, you know, I didn't try to talk them out of it, per se, but I just, just told them, you know, be careful. Or uh, beware of it, you know, just, just be careful. So as a mother and a grandmother, it's always a little tickle in my mind. You know, they're going to be okay in this and that and the third. So I have to trust God that they will use wisdom to do what they need to do and be back here next Tuesday is all I got to say. And Dexter, uh, my grandson Dexter had a little um, thing I found about, that I found out about it. The, uh, he said, no, little Texas, he had a little virus, a little thing. And as, as I would tell them, on, in any case, well, make sure you get yourself to the doctor and get it checked out and let me know what the end results. So he's okay. He's fine. So that's off my mind. So now until Tansy and Karan gets back here, it's going to be a little tickle in my mind. So, you know, I'm still a mother, still a grandmother, a great-grandmother. So those things are always in my mind. And even for people in general, and like I say, on top of everything else that's going on in the world, and uh, I've been praying for my sister also. So y'all keep her lifted in prayer. She's going for a, a day surgery next Monday. She lives in uh, Fayetteville. And I you know, made a decision. I'm not going to be able to make it up that way. So I'm just going to pray her on through like I would anything else or would do anybody else. So y'all keep her lifted in prayer that she's going to be okay. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to keep it right here, right level. So, you know, all those things in life that are going to happen they're going to happen whether the coronavirus comes or whether the uh who's going to be the next president comes or not the basic things in life are going to happen that's why we have to continue to pray without ceasing and ask god to keep us where we need to be because what somebody else feels and how their feelings are is on them 
and how we do is on us. So I'm just, uh, you know, just to encourage you to know that God is in control. He's always been and he always will be. We just have to trust him to do what he said that he's going to do in his word. And that's what I try to live by and try to do each and every day. So love y'all. Thank y'all for continuing to pray and stand in the gap. Pray without ceasing and also reconciling differences between yourselves and, and family members, loved ones, or whatnot. So, this is going to be short and sweet because I'm just going to be dealing with um, bananas, kiwi fruit, oranges, and pineapple. Isn't that a beautiful pineapple? So, I'm going to get uh, the camera on the fruit. And I'm going to do something with, uh, I said I was going to do the nuts. We're still going to do the fruits and nuts, but I just wanted to show you all those few things right now. So let's get the fruit going first, and then we'll start on the uh, nuts next. So let's turn the camera. I got to turn the camera around. I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. I am back, and it's time to fix some snacks. Okay, this is part of my nuts that I've toasted in the, uh, well, I say toasted. I put them in the microwave, and the microwave will crisp them up just like the toaster oven or like the regular oven. So, also over there, you see my fruit. I'm going to do me a bowl of fruit and um, just make me some good old snacks. Let's go ahead. Since I got the nuts all up here front and center, we can start with the nuts. Um, hold on one second. Hold on. I got burgers frying. I'm going to pass them over here. Ooh, I got Kareem a couple of hamburgers over there in the skillet. I'm not eating hamburgers tonight. He is. So, okay. Anyway, I've got some, um, I think these are uh, sunflower seeds. Yeah, sunflower seeds. And I've got some walnuts and some um, almonds. I've toasted the almonds and the um, walnuts. And the sunflower seeds were already toasted, so I don't have to toast them. And I, I had a little bit of my mix left over from the last time that I made it. So it is so simple, it's going to make your head swim. So what I did, I used, normally what I do is a cup of walnuts, a cup of almonds. And if I got pecans, you can put pecans, any nuts that you have. So tonight, the nuts that I happen to have are walnuts and almonds, and I've got some sunflower seeds. And I'm going to put some uh, craisins in there. I don't think I got raisins, so I'm going to use craisins. So hold on. I'm about at the end of all of my little ingredients. So... I'm going to use about a cup of uh, craisins in this mix. I'm going to show y'all just how simple it is. And to make it really, really good, what I do, like I say, I toast my almonds. I'm just going to pour those almonds right into that bowl there. Shake them around a little bit and make sure. Uh, if you, yeah, I would have put more if I had more. Like I said, I'm at the end of, uh, of all my ingredients. So I'm using the last of these. But I have to have me something to snack on. It's Saturday, so it'll be one day next week before I go to the store again. And I'm going to put about, let's see, that's about, that's about enough craisins in there. Just stir those craisins up in there. Real good. And this is what I snack on most of the time. Okay, and I'm not going to put, uh, let's see, maybe a fourth of a cup of these uh, sunflower seeds. Because I like these Carlos peepers. My kids, I'm just going to put the rest of the leftover in there. My kids, uh, when we were over in Spain, they used to eat these every day, buy them by the bag, and they were, uh, before they came out of the shell, and they were salted and roasted, and the children loved them. In Spain, they're called peepers. And honey, we'd have peepers shells everywhere you look, and it drove me crazy, so I told them, look, if y'all gonna continue to eat peepers around here, you're gonna have to do something about those shells. So, of course, when we get back to stateside, they you know, they discovered that um, you can buy them already shells. So, peepers are really good. And they're nice, good sizes too. So, 
that makes a nice little container of snacks and what I'll do sometimes I'll put, uh, drizzle them with a little bit of honey but I think I'm going to leave the honey off this time because I got the cravings they're good and sweet and just that's just a, a nice healthy snack and if you got food eating restrictions this is a good healthy snack for your protein you get some fruit in there and um, it's just good some antioxidants I think and you can also I got some chocolate somewhere I gotta remember, look, I hid the chocolate so good, I forgot where I hid it. Okay, y'all, I found my chocolate. And when I say hid, I mean I hid it for myself. Because if I leave this laying around, I munch on it all day long. This is dark chocolate. So what I'm going to do is break a couple pieces of this and throw it into that mixture. And it makes just the best. Get the dark chocolate. And it's better for you health-wise. Okay, I just opened a couple packs of these. And since they're frozen... They just crack up real nice. I think these have got something in between, but they'll do. So what I'm doing is just putting this chocolate right in there. And that chocolate and that nut and fruit mixture is just wonderful. Or you can buy the chocolate morsels. This is some Godiva chocolate that I had bought. I love good, I love good chocolate. And I especially love um, dark chocolate. It's wonderful. You don't have to put it, you don't put a lot because you don't you don't get too much sugar going on. So this is what I snack on. This is my little snack thing. I probably eat too much of it, but I mean what can I say? And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just put it in my container here. And this is what I'll snack on when I'm sitting around watching TV. I think it should fill that up pretty much. Yep. It right on up. Okay, so I didn't really mean to use that bowl. That's my bowl for my fruit. So I got that filled up to the top, y'all. <laughs> and just you know, just keep it covered so it'll stay nice and fresh. So got my fruit and nut snack and my chocolate. Maybe I'll put this over. Just transfer a little bit over. Look, because I'm going to eat all of it anyway, though, you matter. Okay. That is my fruit and nut snack. And you know what? When you buy all these uh, big bags of ingredients, it beats buying. If you like this kind of, uh, you, they call it trail mix snack. If you like this kind of snack, the, it can get expensive buying a small snack size bag. So you can take this and divide it up into little individual piece of bags or you can put it just like this I always take me a little old bowl set it in front of me and sit in front of, on the table when I'm watching TV and this is my snack so that's how you do your fruit and nut snack remember roast those nuts in the microwave it makes all the difference in the world so we're going to move on now to our fruit snack okay y'all I'm back we're ready to do our little fruit snack okay I've got a um kiwi fruit here so make sure you wash it off and dry it um before you start peeling it so it'll be nice and clean for you this one needs to probably try to make sure you um let them get right i bought these let's see two or three days ago and i let them sit for a while i thought they were well maybe they are i don't know the, the first one felt like it was nice and ripe i'm not sure so what we're gonna do here i'm just gonna slice through it like that. I think kiwi is a pretty fruit. Look at what it looks like inside. Y'all know. But I'm just gonna I'm just slicing them. Norik loves this. Oh he loves love love this. I love when they're nice and uh sweet. Y'all know I use my hands as instruments. So I'm cutting it into my bowl. Well where's my bowl? Please get the bowl where the people can see it. And I've got everything nice and cleaned off and sanitized so um I'm going to use my, this is my countertop is granite, so it's good. I'm good to go. I've cut these oranges in half and cut around in them like so. So they sort of come out like this. Given that I didn't do too good of a job with that one. We'll use that one. I'll juice that one out for my uh, fruit water. Because what I do, whatever's like all that that's left in there, I squeeze it right into my fruit water jar. And then I'll cut up another orange and put it in there. But I always put the orange in there. I'll just get that nice citrusy uh, 
flavor in my fruit water and in my fruit salad. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this other piece of kiwi fruit up in there. What do I have in that oven? I can't remember what I put in the oven. But that is just a beautiful, beautiful fruit. If you want to decorate stuff, kiwi fruit is one of those pretty fruits that you can use to uh, do a lot of decorating when you're having company and doing fruit uh, trays. These oranges, these are navel oranges. They're kind of the small ones, but they're good ones that uh, squeeze a little bit of that juice over that fruit. Uh, these are nice and sweet. And those kiwi, I'm almost willing to bet they're not sweet. Um, I'm just going to squeeze that one because it's pineapple. And I'm going to cut up a pineapple and put it in there. Hang tight, y'all. Let me see what I got in the oven. Just remember, whenever I made sliders the other day, I had a couple of them left over, so I just stuck them in the oven because I cooked some other hamburgers tonight for Kareem to have for his dinner. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to get this um, fruit here out of the way. I'm just going to let those two lay right there since they're so pretty and orange. And we're going to take, I've already washed this pineapple off. So I'm just going to take, and you got to, you know how you cut a pineapple, you got to cut the top off. I hope this pineapple is getting the juice, I could not tell. I've been had it sitting on my counter for about three days, hoping that'll get it nice and sweet. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's, it's firm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Whew, that's sweet, y'all. I can use all of that. I didn't have to cut it that deep on this one. This is a good pineapple, y'all. I'm using all of this. I just put it back. Right there. So what we're going to do next is just go here. You know how to cut a pineapple. This is a good pineapple. Because usually you have those brown things. You used to have, you know, when you cut it down, you used to have those brown things. And I didn't. I cut it kind of uh, thin. I didn't cut it real deep in. This is a, look at that, all the way to the skin. Mmm. This pineapple is sweet, y'all. Woo! Mmm. So now you know when you go and buy a pineapple, for me anyway, I always let it sit on my counter. Because it, it makes a little pretty decoration, too. Two or three days, and this set, about three days. Same time I did, same way I did with the kiwi fruit. Let's sit and get right. I'm cutting this through too thin. I got a little bit enthusiastic on that. It's nice and firm. And I think what happened, it just got right to the point. Honey, we're going to get those things out because I'm not losing any of this pineapple if I don't have to. I mean, to tell y'all, I'm excited about this. I, use, I have to cut so much away. And we're gonna see how that center part's gonna do. So those pieces there, we're just gonna push them to the side. Let's just cut a little bit more. And I'll, I'll eat those in between pieces. And I won't you know what I hate is, is throwing away food and wasting food. I do not like to waste food. I do not like to throw away food. That's why I have a hard time when food's not properly prepared and don't taste right. Okay, those pieces right there. Honey, we're going to munch on those. These pieces here, I can go ahead and trash them. So far, so good. So what I'm going to try and do, there's a little brown piece on there, is let's see if we can go around. Let's see if we can go all the way down in that pineapple. Come about that way. Go down there. We Come about that way. Go... I wish I had one of those little pineapple core things. I don't know. I just never thought about purchasing one. You know, I was looking at something on, I looked at the Food Channel a lot, and they had a contest. Let's see if I can push this through. No, it's not going to push. They, ooh, we can even cut it all the way through. This is what I'm thinking about. That's why I can't push it through. I just cut it all the way through. But anyway, they had a contest of cut, how to cut up a pineapple. Well, you know, people who don't cook don't know. I mean, if you don't know, you don't know. 
Um, and some of the folks were having a real hard time with that pineapple. And, um, about like I'm having, seem like I'm having a hard time. Because I'm missing, I'm cutting it, not cutting it in the right spot. But anywho, y'all know me, I'm trying to save as much of it as I possibly can. So what I'm going to do is just go back this way with it. Back that way. Back that way. What I'm going to do with the core, I don't throw the core away because it's going to go in my, where? Y'all know where? The water jar. There it comes. It came out that time. So it came out like a little pineapple spear. So we got that out. Which I hope y'all can see me cutting through there. But anyway, I got the core out. So we're going to put it to the side. And we got one more little brown spot right there that we need to get off. And now, pineapple is cut. So it doesn't have to be in ringlets or anything like that. So I'm just going to cut it in ringlets. But I'm going to cut it in, into pieces anyway. So get my little pan over here, my little container over here. And I'm going to just start cutting it up and putting it in here. And whatever size pieces you think that you want, uh, Kareem, and not Kareem, but Norik and I are the two that eat it. Now he's gone home. I think he'll be back maybe Tuesday. And by then, I'll save him some. I'll try and save him some. I'll eat more this time around than normal simply because uh because you know it, i'm trying to stay in out of street going places so I, all day today i've been in i'll be in all day tomorrow and i think it's just gonna be kareem and i tomorrow for sunday dinner so we're gonna have sunday dinner for two y'all i think everybody else is staying home tomorrow and that's fine i mean we need to do that every once in a while you know we got this thing going on and they've been talking about you know Trying not to move around as much as possible. So I just got through talking. Karan just called me <laughs> in Las Vegas. That's amazing. Now they are way in Las Vegas. He's called. He's called me three times. It's, now here, here's the deal: when you're off somewhere like that, you think, now who am I gonna call if I have something? Because you know, you know, we share stuff, and he'll call and share stuff with me. Now you think. You would think that they wouldn't, but he, my kids do. They'll call me, and you, you think that they way off out there, but they got certain stuff going on, and he's having a good time and enjoying life. And I always tell him about the gambling part. I said, boy, did you win any money? I said, honey, because if I won $50, I can walk away from it. You know, it's, it's, see, I'm not all about that, because I figured what I could do with a $50 bill versus standing there putting it back in a slot machine, I said, did you walk away? He said, yeah, he won whatever he won the first time he walked away. So I said, wonderful. That's, what, that's my philosophy on that. You know, I'm a bird in the hand girl. Seriously, I am a bird in the hand girl. Okay, let's go ahead and this is mainly pineapple. But now, I thought I had apples. I don't have apples. I thought I had strawberries. I don't have strawberries. And I went to the store yesterday. This is good. When you can slice some apple cheese. Uh, apple chunks in here. You can slice some strawberries up in here. Any fruit that you want to, some grapes, whatever. But this is right by itself. The flavor, the, the main flavors in here for me are the pineapples, the oranges, and that kiwi fruit. Just like that is good for me. But last week I had an abundance of fruit. And Kareem is going to eat more fruit. So we sort of ate the apples up and I didn't even realize they were all gone. So anywho, that is the pineapple, kiwi, and oranges. It's really, really good. Now, to make sure, excuse me a minute, let me rip my hands off. Clean these hands up. To make sure that uh, my little mixture is sweet, y'all know I got my stevia over here on the side. So, I'm going to take me a pack of stevia. So, sprinkle right over it. And if it's not sweet enough, I'll put me another packet over it. But this is just a way to have some good old fruit and something healthy on hand to snack on if you're trying to watch what you eat. 
And if you're just, you know, even if you got nothing going on, you just, uh, uh, you know, like to eat healthy. I probably need to put another orange in there. I can put another, you can put as much of whatever in there as you want to. But the main thing for me is the pineapple and the oranges and the kiwi. And tomorrow, if I decide I want to go out tomorrow, I may, might even grab some apples and cut and put in there. But for the time being, this is a, a real nice snack. Um, let me get those. I'll, I'll get those. You can just taste of it and see if you need more fruit in there. So, for the time being, y'all, there's the pineapple fruit and there's the fruit and nut snacks. You can't beat a good old snack like that. So, y'all hold on. I'll do a little cleanup and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, there it is, your own homemade, healthy, fresh fruit with pineapples, kiwi fruit, and oranges in the back there. And on the front there, your own nut mixture with uh, walnuts, almonds, and sunflower seeds with uh, some raisins and, of course, some craisins in there. And listen, y'all, this is so easy to make. Of course, you have to go to the store and purchase, you know, each one separately. But in the long run, if you eat a lot of snacks, this is going to be what you need to do. So if you want to eat healthy and have the food already uh, right there. Because one thing about changing your eating habits, you have to have the food prepared. The main thing about eating well and on time and what in, in the proper food is food prep. Uh, anybody that cooks or knows anything about cooking will tell you that food prep is uh, probably the single most important part of your diet and when you eat, what you eat, and how you eat it. So if you got these do-aheads already done and ready to go, there it is, y'all. Uh, fruit and nuts and fruit and fruit, y'all. So until I decide to cook again, oh, I got one other little snack I'm going to show y'all. So hang on one second. Okay, y'all, I'm back. This is going to be so quick and easy. Y'all not even going to believe you saw me do it. Okay, this is going to be some quick and easy egg salad. I'm a great lover of egg salad. Okay, I've already boiled seven, I think six or seven eggs. So the eggs are boiled and peeled. I boiled these eggs about 20 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I've shelled them. So I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, chopping them up with my, just take my, the back of the fork and just mash on them real hard and they'll come apart. Okay. At one time, I had one of those egg chopper things. Don't ask me what happened to it. Who knows? I guess the same thing that happens to my forks. You know what? I have to buy forks ever so often. My forks just seem like they get away from me right quick. I don't know why or how. I say my kids take them, but they say, Mom, we didn't do it. So anyway, just mash those eggs up just like that. And I don't like to chop mine up too little because I like to taste my eggs when I eat my egg salad or my sandwich or <clears throat> put it on the lettuce leaf. Um, you can just, I, I sort of uh, almost like hard boil my eggs. These have been sitting for a while, so they are nice and firm. So, something I'm going to try, and I hope this is going to work out okay. Something new that I'm going to try with this egg salad, I always use the Hellman's mayonnaise any mayonnaise dish so to cut back on some of the mayonnaise I'm going to use a little bit of of uh, Greek uh, yogurt now Greek yogurt is supposed to be as harmless as a butterfly so we're going to try uh, so I don't have to put as much mayonnaise because you got to have enough mayonnaise in there okay so we're going to do a tablespoon of mayonnaise, well, maybe a tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise. Okay, then we're gonna do the other part, we're gonna do a tablespoon of Greek yogurt. So, we're gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna put any pickles in it because guess why? I don't have any. I don't, I don't buy pickles a lot because I don't make stuff enough to just to even think about having them. Usually, I have them in the cabinet. So, we're gonna pray that this egg salad. Put this um, Greek yogurt in. It's gonna taste okay. You know, Greek yogurt has a little bit of a tart taste. It almost tastes like um, what do you call it? Uh, sour cream. 
Okay, so that's practically, that's done. It's basically done. So that's your egg salad. Boil your eggs, cool them off, peel them, mash them up, put you some mayonnaise in it, some Greek yogurt in it, a few pickles if you like pickles in yours. Now, I like mine to have a little sweet taste to it, so guess what? Before I couldn't have a lot of sugar, I put sugar, so now I'm going to put a little stevia. I, I just, I need that sweet taste in my life, so the stevia is harmless. Okay. And there we go. So we got egg salad. Okay. But that, that is the basics of how you make egg salad. So that's what I'm going to have from egg salad on some lettuce and tomatoes. And uh, put me a piece of uh, avocado on there. And that's going to be my dinner for tonight. So hold tight. And I'm going to put all this together. Okay, y'all. Everything is ready. There's the uh, egg salad. It's nice and creamy. Now I'm going to tell you this. Egg salad is with um, with the uh, Greek yogurt. It's a little bit different now. Maybe an acquired taste for some of y'all because I told you, you know, uh, Greek yogurt is is plain Greek yogurt. It's kind of um, got a little bit of a tart taste to it. Uh, so if you like Greek yogurt, it won't matter with you. If you don't, you might mm, you might not want to put it in there. But anyway, it's okay for me because I'm going to eat it tonight. So I, I did half and half on the uh, Greek yogurt. Uh, with the mayo so I wouldn't have to put so much mayo so if you want to you know cheat sometime and put all mayo in there it's fine with me if not you may want to leave the egg salad off I don't know but I just thought I'd share my egg salad recipe ordinarily I would have put just the mayo and some uh, pickle relish in there but this time I just put uh, the mayo and half of uh, a tablespoon full of um, the Greek yogurt no salt in it at all. And, of course, I sprinkle a little bit of, a, of one package of stevia in there. Because I like mine to have a little bit of a sweet taste to it just to help out. And for me, it helped the yogurt out. So that's pretty good. Now, I've got the, to the right right here, I've got my fruit and nuts, of course. And over here to the left, we got our good old plain fruit salad with kiwi, pineapple, and oranges. Like I said before, you can throw some uh, apples in there. You can throw pears in there. You can cut up whatever other fruit, strawberries. It just enhances because that pineapple and that kiwi and orange mixture is wonderful. And just to make sure it's sweet enough for me, a little pack of stevia in there doesn't hurt at all. So, y'all, thank y'all for chiming, for tuning in with me while I fix my little uh, fresh fruit snacks and my little nut snacks and my egg salad. These are some of my favorite snacks in the world, so hope you'll be able to prepare them for yourselves and be able to enjoy them as much as I do. So, until I decide to cook again, listen guys, keep those prayers going up, keep reconciling those differences among yourselves, your family, and your friends, and most of all, continue to pray without ceasing, because I'm telling you, when you least expect it, something is always ready to pounce and be there, so we need to have prayer at the forefront of whatever our response is going to be. So until I decide to cook again, love you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for praying with me and for me and standing in the gap and for praying without ceasing. Until I decide to cook again, I love you all so much. Toodaloo.